Hello everybody! I am going to be doing another If You Like This, Then You'll Like This video. You guys seem to be really loving those types of videos, so I decided to bring one to you guys today. And I'm teaming up with the publisher, Hewton Miffin Hardcore, to bring you some amazing reads in this video. Also, before you ask, yes, I did get a haircut, I did cut my bangs, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Woo! But just have to clear that fact, just in case you guys are wondering. Did Sasha cut her hair? I'm not sure. Did she? Did she not? Mm, I, I don't know. So now you know, just to let you know, guys. So I'm really excited to get right into this video because I have a great lineup of books for you guys. So let's jump right in. So if you liked Passenger by Alexandra Bracken or Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, you are going to love Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor. This book is a time travel novel about a girl who was homeschooled all her life up until the point where her mother is killed in a freak natural disaster thousands of miles from their home. So she has to break her comfort zone and go live with her aunt in the Scottish Highlands in her aunt's manor, which does not seem that bad because like seriously like dream living in a manor in the Scottish Highlands. Give me that. And then all of a sudden her life gets turned upside down once again when she finds out her mom is still alive but in the 12th century. So she's like well, what's going on? She finds out that her mom's a part of these time travelers and she has to team up with those time travelers to go and find her mother and save her. So it definitely does have passenger aspects to it because you know in Passenger the main character her mom gets taken away from her and it's up to her to go save her and then in this book the same type of thing happens and also it's like a young adult version of Outlander because Outlander takes place in the Scottish Highlands and it's just so fantastic. So next, if you like the Sweet Evil Trilogy by Wendy Higgins, you're definitely going to love Tell the Wind and Fire by Sarah Reese Brennan. This is Sarah's new book that just came out and although it's not about, you know, like angels and demons and, you know, the seven deadly sins, it definitely does have the same vibe that I got when I was reading Sweet Evil a few years ago. So that's the reason I'm recommending this book for Sweet Evil fans, just because it has the same type of vibe to it. So this book is about a girl named Lucy and she lives in the dark half of the city and there's a dark half and a light half and then after carefully manipulating things she gets a spot in the light part of the city. But then after wanting to keep her head down her boyfriend has a very dark secret that does not include very good things. So that does not help her situation at all. And it involves an apparent stranger that I hear is a doppelganger and there's a deadly connection that only Lucy knows the two guys share. So I think that this book would be very fun to read for people who love Sweet Evil because you know it has a sexy like main male characters, those really badass female characters that you're like you're just rooting on in a very very gripping plotline. Okay so the next two books I'm gonna be recommending books that are contemporaries because I never do that. Never at all and I need to do more of them because yes I do read contemporaries just not as often as I do like you know fantasy, sci-fi, and like historical fiction. It's gonna hot in here. I feel like I always put up my hair midway through videos. Okay so the next book reminds me a lot of the novel The Sky is Everywhere. This is a book that everybody has loved and it's such an amazing story. Line. I know I've like loaned this book out to so many friends and they've loved it and I definitely think that it's an amazing book that if you have not read it yet you definitely should. So the book I would recommend for people who like The Skies Everywhere is The Art of Not Breathing by Sarah Alexander. So I would recommend this book to people who like The Skies Everywhere because it's about a death of a sibling and how teenagers cope with that. You know death is a very hard thing to cope with and it's very hard to accurately represent it in a novel but I think that books like this do it very well because of a very realistic stance on these situations. I myself have a twin and I do not know how I would cope with her like you know dying that's like such a sad thought to me because she is so close to me like you know when you're a twin you guys are so close like you were born together you were pushed out of the womb together well kind of eight minutes apart from my sister and I but anyways so this book is about a girl named Elise and like I said before she loses her brother when they are young and then years later when she's 16 she is going through you know a teenage life crisis and you know she does some bad things that teenagers tend to do sometimes then she meets Tay who is this guy that she recently met and he teaches her to free diving and this is a really serious thing to her because her brother had drowned so he died drowning and you know encountering those rough waters when you're free diving is definitely something that I know myself would freak out about so definitely at least she would definitely freak out about that since it claimed her brother's life years before so it's about a story of acceptance and you know rooting the heart and just becoming the person you're meant to be under such harsh and awful circumstances of your past and I think that's really the moral of the story for not just the art of not breathing but also the skies everywhere about like you know losing a sibling and going through teenage life which can be really hard at points even without all the extra baggage. Okay so lastly I have the book The Vincent Boynes by Abby Glines. I read this book so many years ago but I still love it to this day because it's just such a fun novel and it's also really intense and gripping and there's two really attractive brothers in it so yes please. And if you like The Vincent Boynes you're definitely going to love This Raging Life by Estelle Laurie. So no there are not two boys that are pining for the same girl's heart, 
but it's about a girl and she falls in love with her best friend's brother and her best friend's like hey um mm, how do I feel about this I don't think I feel good about this type of thing but I mean what can you do there's only so much you can do with the free will that everybody has and Lucille the main character's novel she has a lot on her plate because she has a little sister to look after after her mother left and bills to pay and all this crazy stuff and you know her best friend's brother makes her feel like a teen that she is again and you know that's kind of beautiful in a sense like even though life is being really rough around you there's still people in it that can make you feel weightless damn that was so deep ah so both these books have to deal with you know the conflictions between you know life's duty relationships romantic and not and trying to keep it all together without a crumbling apart and I think that these books really relate to one another and people who would like the Vincent boys will definitely like this novel so that is all for today's video let me know down below what books you want me to recommend to you next for another one of these videos which I'll be doing very soon once I get home for the summer in two weeks all the books I mentioned today in this video will be down below so definitely go check them out thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time bye